Park. Tonight, Barca will be aiming to take a step forward to the quarterfinals as we host Galatasaray over at the Camp Nou. Since Xavi's arrival, he promised that this team will do everything they can to finish off the season the best way possible. And so far, you have to say that this team has been up to the task. But will they be able to continue the hot streak? Well, we are moments away from finding out, so let's get the ball rolling. És una competició que hem generat il·lusió en els, en els, en els colers, a l'entorn. Bé, eh, jo crec que la dinàmica és molt bona i és una competició que realment al darrere de li fa especial il·lusió. No la tenim en la història del club, doncs, i és una competició europea. Per tant, eh, anem, anem a per ella. Welcome again to the show and welcome again to this first leg of the round of 16 of the Europa League. It is a beautiful evening here in Barcelona and as you can see the players have already arrived at the stadium and are in the locker rooms getting changed for this big match and as the players have already arrived so are the fans of course filling the seats of the Camp Nou. On everybody's mind at this point is, of course, who the 11 players will be to face this Turkish side. In order to find that out, why don't we head over to the Camp Nou to connect with Mai Rostro, who is ready to give us today's starting 11. Over to you, Mai. Hello, Diego. Yes, we're here at Camp Nou, ready for this Europa League first leg last round of 16 against Galatasaray. The Turkish team visit Camp Nou for the last time in 2002-2003 season, which means 20 years ago. But let's go straight to what we want to know, which is the starting lineup for today's game. Xavi decided to start with Marc André Ter Stegen in goal, back four with Dest, Araujo, Eric Garcia and Jordi Alba, midfield for Frankie de Jong, Nico, Pedri, and up front, Adama, Memphis and Ferran Torres, as our coach said yesterday, some changes in the lineup today on this game against Galatasaray. Back to you, Diego. Thank you for that, Mai, and uh, we're going to be connecting with you a little bit later, of course, to find out the starting 11 of the visitors uh, of today's match as well. But uh, before we get into that, and before we're going to discuss this lineup, why don't I introduce today's studio panel to the right of me? We have Robert von Eckhout, Pau Casasa, and Bruno Balleste as well. Gentlemen, how are you guys doing today? Fine, fine. Uh, big night, Europa League night. Mm -hmm. One more step towards that final against uh, Sevilla, which we want to be in. Yep. Uh, the lineup today, uh, Xavi did mentioned that he probably would shake things up. It's a heavy schedule in the next 10 days. We've got four games, including this one. Players with heavy minutes and loads uh, are getting rest today. They're like Sikir yeah. Wisquet, so Gerard Piquet as well. Obama Yang had been starting a lot lately. I'm happy to see Memphis in the lineup. He hadn't started since the 8th of December. Wow. Eddie Garcia returns after two or three games without uh, having any minutes. Mm -hmm. And I like to see Nico in there as well. He's uh, yeah. He's been bright when he started. Absolutely. Nico getting his uh, well-deserved start, uh, Pau. And uh, as we talked about yesterday as well in the countdown, this Barca side is facing a Galatasaray side that uh, maybe we can say has two faces. One in the domestic league where, quite frankly, they're having their worst season in their entire history. However, on the European stage, they're doing very good. Yes, at the end, when you are a club that has a history, uh, whenever it comes to a, a difficult challenge like it is in Europe, uh, you normally um, 
show to everybody like your capacity, your full capacity, whereas sometimes in the domestic competition you probably feel that you have to win and that it's uh, something that you will get without much effort and probably leads you into suffering a little bit more. But we know that it's a, a very complicated game, uh, even that they, don't, they are not doing a very good run in the, in the league. Uh, we are seeing Busquets, Piquet, Dembélé and uh, Obama Young on the bench. Lots of changes then for Xavi. Lots of changes, but uh, of course Xavi needs to do these changes, taking into account uh, the calendar, all the games that the Barca will have in the following weeks. And I like to see rotations because Barca has a long and a great squad. So great opportunity for the ones who have been playing in the, in the last weeks. Well, why don't we head over uh, and uh, back to the camp now and listen to the words of head coach Xavi Hernández before today's match. We have a very large squad and we've got the possibility of making changes. Everybody's training very well. And in the end, for me, as a coach, it's a real advantage to have the, that choice. We need some fresh players as well after playing a lot of intense games against uh, Elche, for example. We've got the intention of being protagonist in this game and winning. We know that Tagatasaray will give us some uh, interesting uh, options. Do you get the, the feeling that uh, Galatasaray good side? I think it would be a surprise if they were playing uh, just uh, for the draw. They're very uh, capable of getting out uh, through the press. They generate chances. Today's another test for us. It's the Europa League. And we want to continue in this competition. The last question in English, Xavi. The main goal today, of course, is to win, but also it's important to make a, a big win uh, for not happen what happened with Napoli, for example, that you have to win uh, away. Oh, of course. Uh, the, the main goal is, is to win. We are playing at home and will be tough and difficult because Domenech Touré and the coach uh, know, uh, know us very well. But, OK, uh, this is the, the main target, to win the, uh, the, the duel today and then uh, wait for to go to Turkey. Gracias, Xavi. Gracias. Gracias. Well, Galatasaray uh, traveling uh, with a full squad. In that sense, uh, their coach, uh, Dominic Torrent, does not have to worry about any suspensions or injury. In fact, uh, why don't we find out what their starting 11 is and head back over to the Camp Nou and connect with Mai. Yes, Diego, we already know the lineup for Dominic Torrent, who is now back at Camp Nou after all the past he has with the club, with Barca, because he was the system manager for Pep Guardiola, as you can remember, and obviously for the Barca B team and for the first team. Dominic Turan decided to start this game with Iñaki Peña in goal. The Barca player on loan at Galatasaray, back four with Sacha Boy, Nelson, Marcao and Van Hout. Actually, Diego, you can correct me if I say Van Hout in a bad way or it's a Dutch. In midfield, Kudlu. Antal Jali, Ryan Babel, Kerem, and Fugeuli, and up front, alone, their number 11, Mustafa. So this is the starting 11 for Galatasaray on this first leg of the round of 16 of the Europa League. Back to you, Diego. Thank you for that, Mai, and the decent uh, Dutch pronunciation there. Good job, good job, um, fellas. Uh, so the starting 11 there for uh, coach uh, Turren, perhaps the biggest surprise that Gomi is uh, on the bench? Yeah, uh, he's one of their winter um, transfers. He's come in, had an impact for uh, four games, three goals. Uh, he might be used as a weapon in the uh, mm -hmm. second half. A couple of names that we know in there, of course, our goalkeeper, Yanaki Pena, yeah. will be, everyone will be keeping a close eye Special on him. Yeah. Uh, we we'll hope he has a good performance, but not good enough to prevent Barca from uh, winning and getting a big win. Uh, then, of course, a couple of known names there. Ryan Babel, former Ajax, uh, Liverpool, Deportivo de La Coruña player. And Feguli, who played at uh, Valencia and Almeria for several seasons in La Liga. I think what Xavi said is... Uh, the approach from Dominic Torren will be a brave one. Mm -hmm. I think they'll want to come out and put Barca under pressure. I'd, I'd be very surprised if they sit back and wait for Barca. Are, are you expecting that bow as well? The, Gal the Galatasaray side uh, that now perhaps is trying to adopt this Barca DNA style of football. Are they going to try to compete for possession? Well, although Dominic Torren has been there for seven games so far, Recently, yeah. um, it's very difficult to... to change from one style to another one so they are in that process of transition uh, and they will be struggling so that means that if Barca makes them feel uncomfortable in that high pressure probably that's what I'm expecting for him to give that message but then it's the players the ones who feel 
what they can do in order to make to have more chances of winning. And and I'm convinced that if Barca makes them feel uncom uh, uncomfortable, that they are not actually generating advantages, mm -hmm. they will switch and go back to what they are more used to, which is probably sitting in back a little bit more. Bruno, we're seeing another uh, quite regular name uh, in, the na in, this, in the case of uh, Chicaldao, also sitting on the bench, a midf midfielder who's been brought in this season and had been playing regular minutes, but also this uh, player on the bench. Yes, I mean, uh, we have been talking that Pass, of course, has lots of games, but the same happens with Galatasaray. Right. They actually have a, a derby and a big, big game in Chucky on Monday against Besiktas. So, uh, of course, I mean, uh, I'm sure they are going to fight for, for the Europa League, but uh, you have to manage your squad. And I don't understand that probably uh, if the important players are in the bench is also because uh, Dominic is also thinking about managing the squad for, for the following games. Well, why don't we listen uh, from the Galatasaray coach as well as, of course, the Barca goalkeeper Iñaki Peña before this match. Pero que que tindrem les nostres opcions i com tinguem la pilota també uh, la sabem jugar, l'hem de jugar, l'hem de tenir i també hem de fer córrer una mica al Barça. Uh, sabien que ells uh, uh, lo que han millorat molt és amb, amb la pressió post -pèrdua. Creo que se asemeja mucho lo que está haciendo Xavi. Veo muchas cosas uh, similares. Uh, Xavi tiene la idea muy, muy clara de cómo lo quiere hacer, con quién lo quiere hacer y cómo lo puede hacer. Bueno, yo tengo claro que mi contrato eh, es con el Barça, que el día 30 de junio pues, tengo que, que volver al club. Pero yo ahora mismo estoy centrado en el Galatasaray, en lo que tengo que hacer para, para rendir para este club. Y bueno, que haya dicho eso, Chay, pues la verdad que, que es un orgullo y una felicidad para mí, pero como te he dicho, yo estoy centrado en, en lo que tengo que hacer con el Galatasaray y luego pues lo que tenga que ser este verano será. Robert, we talked about how this will be a special game, of course, for Iñaki Peña yep. coming back uh, to the club. He's, of course, uh, on loan, uh, as he talked about there. He will return mm. on the 30th of June, and then we will mm. see what will happen. But what about coach Dominic uh, having to face his yeah. old side and uh, yeah. a player that he actually coached? No, exactly. Xavi, he was a, a disciple of uh, mm -hmm. Pep Guardiola and uh, all of his coaching staff, including Dominic Torren. I think he's been put in a, into a very difficult situation yeah. at uh, Galatasaray. Uh, he only took over in uh, January. He's had... Four defeats, two wins, two draws. Uh, the team were in a bad dynamic. They were coached by the longtime coach, Fatih Terim, and this, things weren't clicking this season for them. And as Paul says, it's, it's going to take time. I, I'm, I'm not sure if they're going to have the patience that right. uh, a, a style like the one we've seen Xavi bring to Barca, yeah. uh, if, if he's going to have enough time to bring that to Galatasaray. I don't know if they'll have the patience with that. Obviously, it's different when you have to bring in players that have been with that style for a long time, like it is the case of, of Xavi, uh, than some players that probably have never been asked to do things that now he's demanding them to do. And, and it takes time, it's education, it's, it's learning, a learning process for these professional players too. And definitely it will be more challenging probably for, for Domenech. Bruno, must be the reason why he uh, also wanted, of course, Iñaki Peña to come to have that kind of goalkeeper. Absolutely. With, I yeah. mean, for Iñaki, it's, it's a fantastic chance to, to show his skills. Uh, he will play his first ever game uh, in the Camp Nou, although he has been warming up lots of times <laughs> and, uh, and he knows really well the stadium. It will be the first time for him. So, I mean, it's a fantastic opportunity because he's a really talented player. And yeah, hopefully Barca can create lots and lots of chances. Some of them can be saved by Iñaki, but others, uh, let's see if he can go in and, and yeah. A uh, good opportunity for Iñaki and, yeah. and great. I, I'll expect also the fans uh, receiving him in a good way, of course, because he's a current Barca player. He's yeah. on loan, but he's, he's part of, of Barca. Definitely. And, and one of the, th the first feedbacks that came back from his first performances at uh, Galatasaray is how good he was with his footwork. <laughs> they were surprised about <laughs> yeah. that. So, I mean, at, le at least he's already uh, leaving a mark there. Another midfielder in, uh, in goal in between the, the three sticks. And uh, well, on the topic of uh, the fans, of course, the fans have already left their work and are slowly but surely filling the seats of the camp no and on that note why don't we head back over to the stadium and get a sense of what the atmosphere is like well Diego we're here at Taika now and we have different fans today as you can see what's your name my name is Liron and where are you from I am from Israel this is your first time at Camp Nou second time I've, I've been here um, two days ago <laughs> and listen are you are you excited for this game hell yeah <laughs> your prediction, I have to ask you a prediction for tonight, what would it be? 4-1, three goals by Usman Dembele. Oh, Usman Dembele. Si. You're a big fan? Yeah. And by the way, I want to ask you, 
With this team, with Xavi, what is the most exciting thing for you? The players or what, what is it? Um, I think the way he believes in his players with Usman Dembele is uh, very important. And I believe that, yeah, we're, we're, on, we're on good, uh, we're having a good time right now with Barcelona. And it's going to be a good game. And apart from Dembele, you have another favorite player? Yeah, Pedri. Pedri has been amazing. Well, thank you so much. We hope you can enjoy this game and, of course, the night. Gracias. Thank you. Visca Barça, Visca Catalunya. Let's go. As you can see, Diego, everyone is excited about this game. Yes, definitely. Well, very colorful fans uh, out tonight, all the way from uh, Yeah, well. I wouldn't want to be the fans <laughs> sitting behind him with that great huge uh, head uh, yeah, blocking all allowed, of you. Right? I mean, uh, yeah, I, I'm it. assuming you'll have to take it off. You'll have, have to take, to take it off. Well, um, take it off or not, we also want to hear, of course, from all of our fans and the ones watching from YouTube as well. In fact, we want you to guys to participate in today's question. Today's question will be aimed to you. You can drop your uh, answers over in the live chat. And the question is, who will score Barca's very first goal in today's match? Number one, Dama. Number two, Ferran Torres. Number three, Memphis. And number four, Other. If you want to keep it simple, you can just drop the number in the live chat. And in the meantime, I will ask our studio panel this exact same question. I want to see Adama's first goal. Yeah? I want to see Adama's first goal. It's about time, huh? Yeah. I want to see Ferran scoring. scoring. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I also that's, want to see that. Well. But it's not about uh, what do you want to happen, it's what's going to happen. <laughs> and I'm going to say Memphis. Uh, he has been showing in the last league games that he's on fire, and, and why not to in the Europa League to score another goal? Memphis, I will say. All right, so we got one vote for each. We got one for Adama, who so far has been brilliant at assists, one for Ferran Torres, and one for Memphis as well. I'm going to go for other, and I'm going to go for, why not, one of our midfielders, Frankie de Jong. He scored a brilliant goal against Napoli. Hopefully, he can repeat the same tonight. And in fact, why don't we hear from him from the Dutch midfielder? We want to win the game, of course. This is the main goal. Uh, and to play a good game, like always. We want to play good and win, but of course, the main goal is uh, winning the game. Yeah, I think uh, the games against, both games against Napoli, we played quite good. The first one, we, we missed a couple of chances. We, we could have also won with, uh, with a difference, I think. So these were good games, and now we want to even do better. Yeah, I think we are in one of the best moments of our season so far. We want to expand this period with this winning streak, and hopefully we can, uh, we can do that tomorrow. The words there of uh, Frankie de Jong, of course, uh, also optimistic ahead of this match, uh, considering Barca the heavy favourites, and we would agree with that, Robert. We do, we do. I, I just uh, I mentioned uh, of a few of the comments that have come in through the yes. live chat. Uh, Cosmic Away says that Memphis will score first. Abraham Mutazu says uh, Ferran Torres. Kamal Dungel says uh, Pedri. Haziri says Torres. Fida Gulak says uh, Memphis. Sayan says Ferran Torres. Ahmed Slimi, Memphis. Um, let me see if I can find an Adama. Miguel Millan says uh, Adama. Mainly the, the, the most voted option, I'd say, is Ferran. Okay, okay. So no, no, no more no, takes for Frankie many, de Jong. Not many mentions here. for Frankie de Jong. I think he's going to be uh, important, though, in what Paul was saying before. What they did against Napoli, pressuring up high, and that is led by Frankie de Jong and uh, Pedri, trying to force Galatasaray mistakes and quick, quick chances off of that for the likes of Ferran, Adama and uh, Memphis. And not just um, against Napoli, I mean, we saw Frankie de Jong against Elche, uh, having lots of chances, arriving from the back. Xavi is... Uh, we also saw it a little bit in, in this uh, first month with Kuman, but also with Xavi, we're seeing it more, uh, how Frankie is arriving from the back and is uh, one of the skills that they wanted to improve him, to, to be more in Barca's box, and I think he's, he's doing it quite well. And hopefully this year he will uh, beat his, his best register uh, scoring goals, because he has scored three in the league, uh, uh, one mm -hmm. in the Europa League, so it's four goals. So it's, he's close to, to beat his, his own personal mark. And we will see because probably today he's playing a little bit backward mm -hmm. uh, with Nico playing in that position. Although, like I said uh, in a previous game, uh, Nico can play in that position mm -hmm. too. Although Xavi is preferring him to play more forward. So Yes, the two questions, uh, of course, is to see De Jong if he still has a, the defensive midfielder and, and Nico uh, as more in the right like we saw in, in the past. And also up front, of course, uh, it's Ferran uh, up in top as a number nine and Memphis in the left. But I, I'll expect also that they will be switching during, during the game because both both can, can feel uh, comfortable in, in both positions. Yeah. 
Um, Ferrani is a player that is generating a lot, especially from the left wing. He hasn't scored much, but today he's going to be more protagonist probably. Aubameyang has, done, has been doing very, very well, so hopefully with Ferran we can also have a lot of possession like Aubameyang has been helping us. Well, time is ticking away, and uh, slowly but surely we are approaching kickoff, which means, of course, that the atmosphere is heating up over at the Camp Nou. Why don't we connect once more with Mai to see if she found some more colorful or creative fans. Well, Diego, I have to tell you, we have fans that actually come to us because they want to talk and explain their story because we have a pretty nice story here. Can you explain your story? Everywhere, Barcelona go, I go. From Dubai, I come to Barcelona. Everywhere I go. For this one, I come all the world. Ibiza, Barça, Ibiza, Catalonia. You can see everyone is excited. Last question, your prediction for tonight's game. Yeah, 3 nil. Dubai, Ferran Torres, Dembele. And your favorite player from this team? Your favorite player? My favorite player? Pedri. Pedri, Pedri. Well, you see, Diego, everyone is excited about this game and true Barca fan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you, Diego. Gracias. Yeah, the fans are feeling themselves tonight. Lots of optimism. I like to see that. 3 0 as well for tonight. Yeah, the energy is contagious there. I mean, <laughs> and they all love Pedri. I mean, of course, he's in Spain. He's a player from here. And, but I mean, to see that uh, also away from, from our country, but everyone loves Pedri. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a player that definitely is uh, convinced the Barca fans. Everybody, of course, uh, is uh, delighted by the likes of Pedri, Gavi as well. And the goal scorers as well. He's going for three different goal scorers tonight. Night. Definitely. Uh, yeah, the only one he left out is Adamo, who's my bet. <laughs> it's your okay. bet. Well, there's a second question anyway that we did want to ask. There uh, is. Do you want to take is. it away, Dio? Yeah. Yes, yes, Robert. Uh, why don't I ask uh, once more our viewers, and particularly the ones, of course, that are joining us uh, from the YouTube uh, live stream, which winter transfer signing is your favorite so far? You can see them on your screens there. We've got number one, Adama, number two, Alves, three, Aubameyang, and four, Ferran Torres. So once again, you can just drop your number in the live chat. In the meantime, our panel, what do you guys think? I like them all. Yeah, I like course. them all. I'm going to say Ferran Torres because since he's come into the team, the team are creating no end of opportunities. Yeah. And it's only a matter of time for him to take them. He's, he created so many clear opportunities. Mm -hmm. And when those go in, I mean, we'll be unstoppable. Can we say others? Uh, being <laughs> all of them. Uh, all of them. Okay, all of the right, above, right? Just yeah. to mention a different one, uh, I would say uh, Alves. Uh, he's a player that has brought the trust in uh, what Barca DNA is about. Uh, he's also always insisting in having that ball, in, in coming inside, having op a lot of players together him more than once saying to the players come close to me give me options and that's contagious and, and I think it's mine it's also Dani Alves I mean for all what he has given to the club he deserved I think to, to be back and, 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 and have a good farewell once he will left hopefully in, in lots of years because he still in form uh, and yeah the commitment he has showed to the club since the first day is, is fantastic and unfortunately he cannot play in the Europa League because he's not registered but Dani Alves for me is uh, a fantastic uh, comeback a great signing and just looking at at this list, uh, all of them except for Adama have actually scored uh, yep. so far since their That's arrival. That's why he's going to do it tonight. That's why he's going to do it tonight. On that note, why don't we head back over to the cup now and see if uh, also and my thinks that maybe Adama's going to if, if he's going to score and if not, at least what is your score prediction for today's game? Yes, Diego, we're here at Camp Nou with more fans, of course. Where are you guys from? We are from Poland. Yeah, from Poland. Your name, please. Uh, I'm Mikolai. And Sandra. Is this your first time here? Uh, it's my second time. I was first time on uh, El Clasico in 2019, in December. Yeah, but my first. <laughs> Are you guys excited for tonight's game? Yeah, I'm so excited, to be honest. Yeah, it's my first time, of course. <laughs> hey, guys, I want to know, you have any favorite player from the squad, from this Xavi's team? Yeah, I've got uh, Gavi, but he's not playing tonight, so... To be honest, I'm so confused. <laughs> well, but we all support Gavi. And for you? Is it the same? <laughs> yeah. I want to ask you, your prediction for tonight's game? I think we are winning 2 or 3 0. 5? 5? 4? Yeah. <laughs> I like it, I like it. I hope it's a 5. I'm going to say the same. My prediction will be 4 0 for Barca. We have to go inside, we have to take our seats, but we'll talk to you guys after the game. So we'll see you soon.
Excellent, Mike. Thank you for that. We didn't get any names, but we did get a very uh, contundente, how you say, a very uh, a resilient, yeah. very convincing 4 0 yeah. score line. Yeah, from Mike. And uh, yeah, confusing times when Gabby's not playing. I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Uh, just a couple of answers that came through the uh, live chat on the uh, question that we were asking. Yeah. F favorite uh, winter transfer signing. Um, lots of love for Obama Yang. Uh, okay. Michel uh, Pavelic voted Obama Yang. Carlos Manuel Delgado voted uh, Obama Yang. Alex Parra said Dani Alves. Ruben Hero says Adam. Uh, there was a vote for Yas from Yasin Merkan saying Actur Koglu. That was not an option. That's a Galatasaray <laughs> player. Well, <laughs> not an option. Uh, not an option. Yeah, no, that's not an option. Adeliki Hamid said uh, Adama, but Eduard Kasseberg said uh, Auba. Motonic said uh, Auba. Dwayne D said Auba. So lots of love for all of our players. Good, good, good. I don't know. Was the fan before also saying a 2 all or a 3 all or was I misunderstand? Was, it, was he going for a 2 all 3 all? I no recollection. They were like discussing between the couple because uh, she said five she nil said and five the other nil. said so how how so many goals like uh, there was a bit of discussion I think there. Well, <laughs> goals. It, yeah, that's goals. the sense that I'm getting, right? Goals. The fans want to see goals. The atmosphere is electrifying and the fans of course are ready to support their beloved Blaugrana team ahead of this first leg of the round of 16s of the Europa League. Europa League action comes to the Camp Nou for the very first time. Slice towards goal, the follow-up finds its way in. Napoli take the lead, how quickly things can turn. A penalty goes Barca's way as an opportunity for an equaliser. But Antonis steps up and scores. The breakaway, here's Traore, there's few better to break away than him. He plays it over to the right-hand side, opportunity here for Jordi Alba! Goal for Barcelona! Frankie de Jong, Frankie de Jong with the curler! Frankie de Jong with the goal! Jordi Alba, it might come back here to Gerard Piquet, and it's in! 3-1 to Barca! Plays the pass, there's the strike, there's the goal! 4-1 to Barcelona and it's Aubameyang, the man in form. Uh, seeing on our screens that the uh, players are already in the tunnels and uh, taking to the pitch. Uh, Robert, why don't you say that uh, it's right around that time that we guessed today's scores. We already heard from Mai. Uh, she's going for the 4-0. Of course, uh, also you, the viewers at home, can participate in the Match Day Challenge. You can do so by downloading the app or going to the website and uh, taking part in Guess the Score, rating the game and the game quizzes as well. That will be at halftime. You can collect points and win exclusive prizes. Um, one of the prizes are shirts or a trip to come here to watch the classic. Yeah, match day jersey for if you get the maximum amount of points uh, today. And if you take part in all the match day challenges of the season, you can win tickets to next season's El Clasico. So don't forget to take part. I'm going to do the, just that right now. Okay. I'm going to go for a scoreline that has not happened yet this season. I'm looking we at have it. not scored five goals in a game yet this season. It's about time we did so. 5 0. Nice. Oh. Very optimistic, everybody. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going for a 3 1. 3-1. All right. 3-0 uh, up for Barca. 3-0. 3-0, no Bruno with a 3-0. No. I'm going to go I'm going to go for Manita as well. I think we're going to score five goals tonight. Well, 5.4% of the uh, fans who voted on the Barca app and fcbarcelona.com agree with me and Diego, but the most voted result there is Bruno's 3-0. 24% uh, of the fans voted that, and Pau's is the following one uh, with 22.4% uh, of the uh, votes. Optimism, anyway. Good. Uh, the players are on the field, so let's take a look at the lineup. Last uh, look at the lineups on the uh, YouTube live chat. You can rate the lineup from uh, 1 to 10, so please do that. Barca's uh, starting 11 with Mark andre to Stegen in goal. Serginho de Faraujo, Eric and Jordi Alba at the back with Frankie Dion, Nico and Pedri in midfield. Up front, it's Adama, Ferran Torres and Memphis for Galatasaray. A few complicated names in that lineup, but we'll do our best to pronunciate them well. You can do it. Uh, Iñaki Peña in goal, that one is easy. Boy, uh, Nelson, Marcao and Van Arnold in uh, defence. Two central midfielders with uh, Kutlu and Antalayi. On the right is Babel, on the left is Aktur Koglu. The attacking midfielder will be Feguli and up front it's Mustafa Mohamed. 
Those are the two starting 11s. The captain today for Barca is Jordi yeah. Alba. There in the captain's draw with his former teammate at Valencia, Sofian Feguli. They shared the 2011-2012 season. I don't think Barca had ever started an official game with Jordi Alba as captain, but I may be wrong. I may oh. be wrong. Anyway, Diego, um, you'll join us after the show? Yes. Hopefully to celebrate slash talk about a win? Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Right. Uh, let's hope that happens then. Thank you, uh, Diego. The game is uh, about to start. Guys, uh, last thoughts, Paul, um, all yours. <laughs> well, uh, Barca is coming uh, after a game against Elche where we created a lot of chances, uh, 20 finishing situations, uh, nine of them in goal. Uh, hopefully today we're going to be on that road of generating a lot of chances, hopefully uh, scoring uh, more than we did in, in Elche and not necessarily from the penalty spot. Um, again, we have to dominate, we have to be consistent on what we want. We want to see the new players coming in shining as well. Uh, and that's all from my side. Well, with the excitement, of course, to continue this fantastic dynamic that pass are involved, uh, we don't want uh, to end uh, these great results, these great games, this great football that in the end we are enjoying. We are enjoying again from, from the spectacle, from, yeah. the, from the games, and that's, I think, really, really important. Always, all oh, Barca fans, it's not just about winning, it's how you win. So let's see if this can continue today and, and yeah, the team uh, can take uh, a good result. Well, the referee's blowing the whistle, so the game is underway. Barca playing in that special uh, kit made this season to play in Europe. In Blaugrana, of course, the technical was the right-hand side.